Hello, and welcome to a comprehensive review of ComNet's exclusive Layer 1 security protocol, Port Guardian. The problem is that good edge network security is complicated. To truly secure your network, a multi-layered approach must be used. It starts pretty easy with disabling unused ports and MAC binding, but it gets complicated very quickly with VLANs, access control lists, routing, and even firewalls. In-depth knowledge is required for many of these protocols, as are constant critical updates. But there is an easier way. ComNet's exclusive Port Guardian is strong edge security easily deployed. The way it works is that if any port with Port Guardian enabled is unplugged, it is immediately electrically shut off. No communication is possible over that port. An SNMP alert can be sent and a contact closure or fault relay can be triggered depending on the model switch that you use. Fault status can be confirmed a number of ways and ports can be reset using up to five different methods. Port Guardian is relevant for any at-risk ports. So any network port that can be physically accessed by an unauthorized person. Let's take a look at a generic scenario. You have a locked enclosure, but it's not in a secure location. You have a sensor on top of a pole or close by the enclosure. Could be a camera, intercom, an emergency callbacks, anything IP. That's connected to an ethernet switch or media converter in that enclosure. And then you have a fiber, copper, wireless, or even cellular connection back to the head end. If we then take a closer look at those devices on the pole, we have the switch that sits in the enclosure, a camera, and a fiber optic uplink back to the head end. Now, if an unauthorized person wants to tap into that network, they will unplug the camera and try inserting their laptop to gain access to your network. As soon as they unplug that camera, Port Guardian immediately disables that port. No communication can be had over that port. There's no way to hack around a completely disabled port. Next, Port Guardian can send an SNMP trap message back to the head end to alert you about the attempted intrusion, and a local contact closure or fault relay can also be triggered. Once you have investigated and deemed it safe, the disabled port can be re-enabled up to five different ways. You can send an SNMP set command, log into the switch across the network with a password protected GUI, connect locally through a command line interface, reverse the contact closure, or power cycle the switch. However, all of these re-enable methods can be turned on or off based on your preferences. Let's talk about configuration. If we want to see how easy it is to set up Port Guardian, we can take a look at the GUI as our first method of getting it running. Settings and status can be found in the configuration, security, switch, guardian portion of the tree. Everything is disabled by default. You'll need to enable port guardian on the global level first, and then enable it on each port that you desire, and click apply. That's it. Port 1 is now completely protected against intrusion. As a second me method of configuration, you can also make a serial connection to the switch through the USB port and set up Port Guardian using the command line interface. Type the command shown to configure Port Guardian on the global and port levels, then save the running configuration to the startup configuration to permanently save the settings. Status and clearing faults. If there has been an attempted intrusion, you can check the condition of each port on the Guardian page. Here it shows port 1 as faulted based on the attempted intrusion. To clear the fault through the GUI, navigate to the ports page. This shows that port 1 has been disabled. Select the desired speed or select auto and then click apply. Return to the Guardian page Click the clear fault box on the faulted port and then select apply. The port is now fully enabled and will start transmitting data normally. To alternatively clear the fault through the command line interface, just follow the command shown to check the status of any port and then clear it. You can also use third-party SNMP software to manage the process of checking status, getting alerts, and clearing faults. In this case, we're using iReasoning's free MIB browser software. You'll need to load the MIB library for the switch model being used, available from ComNet. 
If you perform a walk function, it allows you to see all of the current settings for Guardian. In this case, port Guardian is enabled on only port 4, and all six ports on that switch are functioning normally with no faults. A trap receiver can be set up in mid-browser that automatically receives any port guardian alerts. If there is an attempted intrusion and port guardian is triggered on any port, you'll get a trap notification in the trap receiver tab of mid-browser. Depending on the SNMP software and version you use, additional alerts can be sent via email, text message, or phone. You can also clear the fault through the SNMP software. If you return to the results table, you can see that the port link loss status on port 4 says true, which means it's in default status. If you right click on the port guardian port fault clear field, an SNMP set window pops up. Enter 1 in the value field and click OK. That clears the fault and port 4 is now transmitting data normally. Port Guardian is available only on select ComNet switches. It's available on the CNGE 2 plus 2 SMS series hardened self-managed switches. These have two gigabit SFP ports and two gigabit copper ports, available with up to 60 watts of PoE per port and support a select number of protocols and features configurable through both DIP switches and a web GUI. The CNGE 4 Plus 2 series is the same switch with an additional two copper gigabit ports and 60 watts available on all four ports. Port Guardian is also available on our fully managed hardened switches like the CNGE 3. This has three gigabit SFP ports, eight 10100 copper ports, 30 and 60 watt PoE options, comprehensive management features, and layer 3 static routing. The CNGE11 is the same switch, but all 11 ports are gigabit data speed. We also have the CNGE24 series as a full 19 inch width with 12 gigabit SFP ports and 12 gigabit copper ports. This has 30 watt PoE support and the same comprehensive management features. Thank you for taking a closer look at ComNet's exclusive Port Guardian security feature, hard security made easy. Check out our website or call for more information.